yes so now we will include the form builder as well here you go with the form builder all right yeah we have included the form builder as well so these all things we have included and maybe form module reactive form module will include over here okay all right so in the import section we have to give form module form module and reactive form module so these are the models which we have to include then these are the common reactive reactive form model so we have included these things all right and as already know we are gonna to use the form over here in our <coughs> component tiers so definitely go and put it over there whatever will be used will use use it other thing will remove it all right so one more thing if we wanted to use http services then we have to include http module as well so that's what i am thinking that we will include http client module as well in our module.ts as we are already doing the coding for this so let's see okay we are we are here and we'll import import again no this one all right we'll say from and this http module comes under the angular common http so we'll say at the rate angular common slash no we'll go again angular common slash http okay so we have to include http client module http client module because we are gonna use the http services and here you go with the http client module in import statements let's see what is the status of my project here oh no we are able to see our form and now we have to put the control which should work all right so let's see if it is the case so we'll put the form control wherever we have denoted in our td all right we have go here we'll go here so let's put one control and copy paste input type already no intelligence is giving us input type text and then we'll put form control name form control name is equal to let's say name form control name okay class form control it is form hyphen control from the bootstrap okay so we'll put form hyphen control and we'll say placeholder as well let's say name for this and after that label name if we have to give give otherwise no okay so this is my form control name let's see if i'm able to get anything okay so it is compiling and it's it all right so we have one control over here okay good cool we'll copy this and it worked for us so we'll put over here in the email section we'll change this to email okay and we'll say email okay so we have done for the email now let's do it for phone as well so for the phone we'll again test it and we'll say phone phone okay 
So we have done it. Ah, oh, cool. It's nice. So one part is done, and one part is done. And what I will do, I will just create the HTML for other part as well. So in order to make it properly working in the form, basically what we are trying to do is we'll go to app component.ts and we'll say we want form builder so i think insert form i have given the name so let's check yes of course it is insert form we'll copy this form name over here and we'll see it is type of form group good we do have insert form group we have okay so once we are having insert form group we'll go to ng on in it okay and we need to insert over here the form builder so let's inject that form builder as well private if we want to use private fb colon form builder okay so form builder is here why we need to inject it okay let's comment it out this part and will say <coughs> basically this dot insert form is equal to this dot form builder use form builder and in the form builder you will have the <coughs> different form controls so fp.group okay so this would be a group i'm sorry okay all right and in the group we can give the name of the forms so my first form is name and here we can follow the pattern of reactive form and then it is if it is a required we can put the required validator validators dot required okay so this is one of the form copy sit home and we'll put this and we'll put this we change here this is phone and this is dot email all right so <laughs> we are good with this form okay so we have created one form and with the button okay now let's create <coughs> other part of the html okay so other part of the html would be like let me see if I am right what I would be needed is <coughs> um, let's see I would need one more class I will put table border table hyphen border let's see how it looks how it comes okay now the uh, table hover the b o r border is spelling it wrong it's an e o r b e r e d okay so let's see table border is getting applied or not okay so this table is border is getting applied maybe we will see something else as well okay so now we have to create <coughs> We'll copy and paste this part in other section as well, and then from there we'll work out and remove the things. So, <coughs> okay, so this is what the class md. Okay, so I think this is good part, and we'll put in second section, and then whatever is not needed, we'll remove it. Let's see if it is working out for us. Okay, second section we have put it. All right, we'll put in third section. Third section. 
will put in 